My name is Danielle Schaefer, and for today's counselor meet and greet, we will be getting better acquainted with the incredible Megan Hughes. Thank you so much, Megan, for sharing your counseling journey with us. Yeah, thank you. It's just an honor, honor to be here. Great. So what made you decide to become a counselor? You know, I love to hear people's stories. I love to understand uh, the ins and outs of what's going on in a person's heart. Uh, and I love to, as a counselor, that I get to provide a space for people to explore the motivations in their heart, the values that they have, the relationships that they have with themselves and God. And um, I get to, you know, provide a safe space to just be able to have insight there and be seen in those ways. And so um, I love to be seen in those ways and I love to help others feel seen in those ways. So relationship is a big driver for me to becoming a counselor. Yes, yes. And what has most influenced how you counsel your clients? Yes. Well, I want to say being a river guide, but I don't want to say being a river guide because I'm supposed to say like grad school or my internship or something like that. But I think it really was uh, being a river guide that awakened my heart to the joy of providing that safe space. So um, as you know, in a, in a boat full of people, we're navigating scary rapids and uh, just creating safety in that was a real um, wonderful thing for me. And so I actually get to do that with my clients, right? So whether, so with clients, I'm navigating scary rapids in their heart. And so I get to be there providing safety, you know, like making sure the boat doesn't flip, um, plucking people out of the water as quickly as possible if they go for a swim and just creating that sense of safety. Um, and that being said, I think the biggest thing that has influenced my uh, work with people is my relationship with God. Um, the love that he has for me and the love that I experience in that relationship, you know, it's warm, it's unconditional. There's like a positive regard there, a high regard. Uh, and there's also this accountability, right? Like that it's encouraging. I can strive for something better. I can, I can do better. I can be better. Um, and I can take risks and I can fail. So all of those aspects of my relationship with God, I want to bring to my clients. I want to bring uh, that to them and help create that sense of safety and that sense of being able to strive. We need that sense of safety. We want to learn. Yes, that is so beautiful. And how many counselors can say that they've been a river guide? That's incredible. I love that you have <laughs> <Not> that many. <laughs> There's like crossover though, I swear. <laughs> So what clients do you typically thrive alongside? Oh, I love, I love working with anyone. Like if, if uh, I love meeting new people, if I've said something that resonates with someone's heart here while they're watching it, I would love to meet them. Um, I love working with teens and young adults, just navigating those challenges, all those choices we have to make in that stage of life. And it can be so difficult and confusing. So I love to help uh, people navigate those spaces. Um, people that, you know, parenthood, right? Like that's another challenging space in life. And we all have uh, challenges navigating that. And so I like to create a space to normalize that challenge and, you know, maybe get some insight and respond differently with our, with our kids. Uh, I love working with people who have struggled with anxiety and depression. You know, I have uh, experienced some of those spaces in my life. And I know that what helped keep me out of those spaces is really reliable, healthy connections with other people. So I like to, I get to provide that. And I, I love that. And the lot, another group that I just really love working with is people that are struggling in their relationship with God. Mm -hmm. um, I think we can uh, bring a lot of our wounds to that relationship. And so it's like, sometimes we feel like, man, God says he loves me. And you know, I believe he loves me and I just do not feel loved. And so helping people bridge that gap and actually experience the love of God in their nervous system um, is just a real joy for me. I love to do that. Oh, that's beautiful. And I love that when clients meet with you, they're not meeting with someone who just knows about it. You've really experienced these things for yourself. Mm. That's, that is incredible. So Thanks. good. Yeah. And what can clients expect when they meet with you? 
Well, you know, I think a lot of what we've talked about, I, um, I really strive to create a safe space, right? So I think when you meet with me, you can expect that I am committed and, and seeking to and striving to create a safe space and that unconditional positive regard uh, that God gives to us. I'm seeking to provide that for you as my client. Um, other things that you can expect from me are maybe some laughing, some humor. I think that uh, laughing helps us regulate our nervous system. I think it helps bring lightness to things that can feel really heavy in life. And so I like to utilize that gift that God gives us. And then you can also expect that we'll bring God into our sessions, right? So that's at your pace and whatever that looks like for you. But I really, I really believe that the healing that we need comes from Jesus. And I'm so grateful to be working at a company that prioritizes faith, that encourages me to grow in my faith and share Jesus with my clients. And so I, that healing, I want that for my clients and I want that for me. So I think we, you know, lean into that together um, in my sessions. Wonderful. This has been so incredible, Megan. And I am so excited for all of the clients who will get to meet with you in the future. Yes. Thank you, Danielle. Looking forward to meeting them. Thank you.